Yeah, well, hello everyone and welcome back. It's Sunday, August the 4th, 2019. Uh, Sunday might be a day of rest, but it's no day of rest for the wasp expert in the summertime. I'm on my way to Parksburg, Pennsylvania for uh, two removals. It's actually the same customer. They have uh, what they said were black hornets uh, in a rhododendron bush. Uh, the nest is about head level, so should need a ladder for that one. Um, and also they said uh, they have a nest in the ground that they got stung four times they were doing some yard work and uh, unfortunately they got them four times so I'm gonna remove the nest um, both of those nests this morning well it's still cool it's supposed to get up to I think the upper 80s today so um, it's about 9 30 right now <clears throat> it's about be just before 10 by the time I get there um, so take care of that this morning um, so yeah, um, other than that, uh, I did get a call for, uh, believe it or not, some European hornets earlier this week, but the nest was inaccessible. Um, too tight of a spot up in an attic, I was told, so uh, they were just going to go the chemical route with that one. And uh, let's see, I did some removals, did some bald face nests this week, um, and also some in-ground in yellow jacket nest. Uh, I think we got, it wasn't as rainy this spring, so I'm actually finding more ground nests this year compared to last year. Uh, last year was more uh, structural nests, but I don't think the German yellow jackets is abundant. Um, I actually uh, did refer some what I believe were German yellow jacket jobs out just because of the logistics of it. They wanted to use like a, a dust. They thought it'd be better than just doing the demolition work, but um, hopefully there'll be some uh, Germanica jobs I do soon. I mean, usually August, September, I, I get more Germanic anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, how the ground nest goes and also uh, the hornet nest, uh, bald face nest, I think, uh, in the uh, rhododendron. So once we get to Parksburg, I'll uh, know more and uh, see you there. All right, bye-bye. All right, so here's the, uh, the bald face hornet nest. Um, pretty straightforward. I just got the uh, vacuum here balanced uh, on the uh, deck railing. Um, so, uh, Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim some of these obstructing branches first. Got my safety glasses on. Set them a little bit. Just uh, make it more accessible. So do it this way. Now, it should be uh, a bit easier. glasses on and suited in ball cap. Smell that venom. Oh, you gotta sneeze.
All right, so as you can see, uh, there's not much of a swarm anymore. A few uh, foragers came back. Um, pretty little nest. Um, see, they've incorporated the leaves up there at the top, so it really would make kind of a cool display piece. I'm not really a big uh, nest collector myself. You can see some green stripes in this one, green and browns. In addition to the, uh, the whites and the grays, different shades of gray and some whites. Look for the GoPro's picking it up. My GoPro actually froze. That's one thing I don't like about GoPro. Um, so if anybody from GoPro is listening to this, uh, for some reason, um, the file will freeze the camera when I stop filming, and then I'll go to hit the record button again, but it won't record. I have to take the battery out. So I noticed that with the Hero 3 as well. So it's like a glitch with, with GoPro. So GoPro's got some things they need to work on. But on that, I don't have any complaints. It's all staring me down. All right, so a little more vacuum and we'll open this bad boy up. Oh, come on. All right, so... Actually, film the opening up of the nest. This is what I do, just kind of see what's left. You can see they got, looks like two combs, some tenerals in there. I do like the fact that this GoPro has a viewfinder. Catching some suds, I just put everything in there. Worker returning. Let's see what we got. The leaves actually make uh, the nest sturdier. Thank God there's no tears in this veil. You got me good. See in between the combs there, the queen, she's here, she's probably up top. A lot of pupil, pupil caps and see some larvae in there. We got underside view. Pretty cool. Pretty nest. My uh, cowhide leather gloves are holding up, which is good. And bombing into me. Smell that venom burning my sinuses. Hate to do it, but you know, it's just in a bad spot, so. One's actually doing some repair work up there, interesting, even though I did one back in August of last year, and it was one that I did from where I kind of filmed the bald face for a nest after I took it apart with the, show the combs, and they went back to building this, this nest is the same thing, this worker, like no matter what, they just got that drive to keep going. Build that envelope. See the, see the queen there. Right there. Queen's on the top left, and then you have a tenor lower on the on the lower right. And uh, these would be uh, reproductive cells. The second comb is always reproductive cells with this species, and the top comb is uh, used for workers and males. So, going to be a lot more hatching out, a lot more on the way. See all those caps, nice healthy nest. Just waiting for more to come back. I vacuumed them up. All right, so here's the nest. It's got sunlight here. There are some larvae in that second comb. And these were all probably used, these real innermost cells were the first built cells on the top comb. And they would have been built uh, back in the spring, late spring. So they could have already reared like three or four generations. See a tenoral there, I hit it with a little bit of fogger. So that's why it's writhing around, but throw it in there. See so if we'll find the queen. So 
So yeah, here's a uh, here's the queen. Does have a little bit of age spots on the back, little brown spots. So they get from the friction of inserting their abdomen into the paper cells. The coloring get discolored as a result, and she's trying to sting my glove. So the queens do sting, but fortunately was just in a bad spot and that's what it is. So into the dish soap and shot of the nest. Oh, that's it. Mission accomplished. Have a good one. Sunday, August the 4th, 2019. See you next time. Bye-bye. All right, so here's the ground nest. Uh, the customer actually opted to uh, remove this nest themselves. I'm um, going to use a method that I don't use personally. I don't think it's good for the environment, but that's what they decided. So they're just going to pour uh, fluid down here at, uh, at night. So must work for me. Of course, I won't make as much on this job, but uh, that's the way it goes. So just uh, some, some of the activity. And this is the one that stung them four times while they were doing yard work. Carrying out dirt pellets. So yeah, won't, won't be filming a removal for this one, but I just wanted to show you, show you the nest and uh, what was here. So that's what it is.